Now we are getting clarification about who was in that pickup truck when it collided with those cyclists. We are learning that a 16 year old boy, well, he was in the driver's seat. A 17 year old young man was in the passenger seat. They were headed inbound here on business 290 when they collided with that group of six. What happened after that? The DA here in Waller says that the Waller PD simply didn't take the advice of troopers out here and consider that roadway a crime scene. Inside bike Waller, Clark Martinson says the conversation among the cycling community continues to center on last month's terrifying crash. It has been the topic of conversation between our customers and the people that train for their exercise out in the Waller area. 17 days ago, six cyclists traveling inbound on Business 290 ended up in a collision. An eyewitness told us a teenage driver tried rolling coal, which is blowing exhaust in their path before slamming the vehicle into them. So far, there's been no arrests. Waller County DA Elton Mathis said in a Facebook post, Waller PD didn't handle the case properly. Writing all sides of this matter, the juvenile, the adult passenger, their families, the victims, and their friends' families can be assured that this case is not being swept away as the days pass. And attorneys for both boys are being cooperative at this time. This will not be a lynching, and likewise, it will not be a case of small county politics making problems just go away, end quote. I am pretty surprised that the driver, uh, whatever age, uh, did not suffer a consequence. And I don't know what that says about the, uh, you know, privilege. Cycling advocates criticize the pace of this investigation, which has ordinary folks rethinking their routines. Not after hearing about the accident, because I ride at night sometimes, and even if someone were to do that to me, my family all lives out in Houston. No one will be able to come and help. A few weeks ago, the teenage driver's attorney did release a statement saying he's a young man with college aspirations, writing, quote, my client stopped immediately, called 911, attempted to render aid, and cooperated with police. The family prays for a quick recovery for the injured riders, end quote. You're sharing small roads with country vehicles. People may be driving too fast. That's the big concern is how we can share the country roads. So what does Waller PD have to say about their handling of this situation, how they reacted to what happened here on Business 290? It would be wonderful if we actually heard from them, but for weeks we have asked for comment. They have only talked about this publicly in a Facebook post saying that they will turn over their investigation to the DA, but they have not responded to that harsh criticism from the district attorney here saying that they did not handle this properly.